Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2013 Panini Black Football. 15 box, random division break number one. So it's five, it's three five box inners. Kind of an interesting configuration the way they did it back in the day. But there it is, big thanks to Reno for being the only person who bought a spot straight up. The rest of it we knocked out via filler. Though those uh, chronic H2, the hybrid breaks, one, two, three, and the last one, which was four. There are the divisions right here. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Three and a six, nine times for each list. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. After nine, we got Steve down to Donald. Three and a six, nine times for the divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. NFC East down to the NFC West. I'm just losing it, losing my mind already. All right, Steve Birch, NFC East. David, AFC East. Donald, AFC South. Bart, NFC North. Reno, last spot mojo, only spot mojo, AFC North. Corey with the AFC West. Reno with the NFC South. And Donnie, you got the NFC West. So let's sort by column A. Or column B right there, alphabetically by division. And we're gonna pause the video. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have that 15 box break. Stick around, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back everybody. No deals were done, so that list remains the same here on a Sunday. Thanks everyone for getting in. Oh, yeah. News like that, Mike Tower, of course that's going to get mentioned. And, yeah, I think well-deserved, too. Fred McGriff in the Hall of Fame, Baseball Hall of Fame. All right, so here's the case right here. This is a sort of an awkward-sized case. There's five box, three inners per case. Here, let's actually use my side of the table here. Took a little shake, shake, shaking. But there you have it. There it is, 2013 Panini Football. Three inner cases. That's a weird configuration. I don't know. When's the last time they've done that configuration? I didn't realize Cameron Hayward... I didn't realize Cameron Hayward's dad was Craig Ironhead Hayward. What? Did you know, you know who Craig Ironhead Hayward yeah. is? I didn't realize. Cameron. Yeah, he's like he's like part of. It's, it's like, hey, did you know that uh, Bosa's uncle was in the league? Do you know that Clay Matthews' uncle was in the league? Like, I have no idea that. that do you was, know that yeah, Matthew yeah. Stafford and Clayton Kershaw went to the same high school together? No, but do you Hayward, know that Antonio Gates used to play college basketball? Hayward is not like an uncommon name. Right. So you should have known even then that it was even more since it's not. Oh, you're saying it's more common. What is going on here? Look at this. They just couldn't find the right size, the right size box back in 2013. Just put a blank space right there. What a weird configuration. You're weird. Ted, your face is weird, Teddy. All right. 
So there. And it's just okay. I think I'm. I think I've done this as a filler before or something. So it's one, one fat pack per uh, per box. All right. So I don't know what this configuration is going to be. Those are all. These are. All autographs, or a couple of relics, and a plate on the bottom. We've got a lot of things going on here. All right, so there's metal rookies. Rookie DeAndre Hopkins, nice Texans edition. AFC South, not numbered, but pretty cool. That's going to go to Donald. All right, there's Vince Wilfork to three ninety nine. Derek Johnson to 399, CJ Henderson to 399, Robert Alford, Demarius Thomas. And all of these are numbered, they'll be top loaded before they get sorted and shipped out, of course. That's a good question, Mike. Let me get to that in a second here. Out of 49, there's Big Ben. Four out of 10, Terrence Williams. Onyx, jersey, and autograph. So I don't think he's going 100s, right? Oh, actually, they're... 100 is a little too snug. It crinkles up the penny sleeve. Right, 130s it is. All right, looks a lot cleaner. It's a little... A little loose, but our team will put a, put something right there so they're not too loose. That's uh, Cowboys, NFC East, Steve Birch. Five out of five, Gavin Escobar. Two-color patch and autograph for Steve. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-woo! Fourteen out of twenty-five, Jamar Taylor. He's using a lot of blast from the past in a set like twenty thirteen. AFC East, David. Oh, is Gavin Escobar not with us anymore? That's right. I think. That's right. He did pass away, September twenty eighth. 2022 it was a rock climbing accident it was around uh, noon rock climbing in San Bernardino National Forest 31 years old he was also climbing with a friend who also died during the climb wait is Jamar Taylor not with us either this is a sad this is a sad box No, Jamar Taylor is with. That's Jamar Taylor. Oh, no, Demarius Thomas. Right, Demarius Thomas. Sorry, I was thinking about the hits. Demarius Thomas, yeah, that was a, that's a sad story, too. Here's Kenny Britt, 16 out of 99. AFC South, that's right. R.I.P. And Alex Smith, 24 out of 99. Yeah, sad box. It's a sad box. And LaShawn McCoy. And Alex Smith and LaShawn McCoy and Big Ben are no longer in the NFL. So that's also sad times. All right, next box. So this break actually might take a little bit longer than I thought. So this might, might actually bring us towards the end of the night. But that being said, I will still do, uh, if that flawless collegiate sells out, which at three spots left now, I'll do it.
do them one, one at a time here. All right, there's Carson Palmer. Plate. Tom Brady to 399, AFC East. Adrian Peterson to 399, Vikings edition, NFC North. Got Ray Graham to 399, AFC South, Texans. Got Eric Fisher, 205 out of 399 for the Chiefs, NFC or AFC West. Corey with that one. I think he was what, a top one of the top picks? The top pick? No, your number one overall pick. To 399, Geno Atkins. Bengals, AFC North, DJ Hayden, 6 out of 49, Raiders, AFC West, and Landry Jones, 3 out of 25 is your autograph. Some Steelers fans back then were really convinced that this might have, this was going to be the next one. AFC North, Reno. We got Manti Teo to 299. Still have not seen that... Uh, that documentary about Manti Teo. I keep forgetting about it until I see his stuff. Chargers edition, AFC West. That goes to Corey. Joan Jameson, 6 out of 99. Rookie auto for the Redskins. They were Redskins back then. Commanders now. NFC East, Steve Birch. Marlon Brown, 20 out of 199 for the Purple Birds. AFC North. That's going to be for Reno. And E.J. Manuel, 44 out of 99 piece of his jersey. Buffalo edition. Buffalo! AFC East, David. Okay, so it looks like most of these are going to be using the 130s. All right, so Mike Tower was asking, are there any families that had three generations play in major sports? Five families with three, three generations in the NFL. The, oh, the Cup family, Cooper Cup and other Cups. Steelers, Anthony uh, Chiquillo. Packers, Clay Matthews, right, the Matthews family. Did not know about Jim Pine or Matt Suey. Or Suhey. What about other sports? It's Terrell Suggs. A 3 out of 10, Tom Brady. AFC East. I don't know what these are going to go for, but still pretty nice. Kobe Hamilton to 399. Kevin Minter to 399. We got DJ Swearinger for to 399. And Michael Ford. Oh, here are the hits. Michael Ford. And here's 119 out of 299. Le'Veon Bell, rookie, jersey, and autograph. The only family I would know in baseball would be the Boone family, I want to say. Maybe the Alomar family? And the and the Alu family. Robert Woods. Autograph, 73 out of 99. AFC East. Buffalo! And a 1 out of 5 rookie auto. Matt Scott. Jaguars edition, AFC South. I, I don't remember Matt Scott at all. That goes to Donald and the AFC South, but still, Donald, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Can't short you that. Woo -woo. And we got some relics here. 16 out of 25, Andre Johnson. I remember him. Another relic, Joseph Randall to 299.
uh, Cowboys, NFC East, Steve Birch, Michael Ford, and there's a Denard Robinson plate. All right, another box. Three third generation MLB families. The Bells, Gus, Buddy, David, Mike, the Boons, Ray, Bob, Brett, and Aaron, and the Colmans. I don't know the Coleman family. Joe Coleman, Joe Jr., Casey Coleman. Not the Alou family, huh? Is that just two generations? Just I thought the Alou family had three different generations, but maybe not. Maybe it was just father or son. Got a rookie plate. Margus Hunt, one of one. Bengals, AFC North, Reno. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. What percent of the players here do I remember? Not, not very many. Obviously, I know J.J. Watt. Don't, I barely remember this guy. Ray Wilson. Uh, Chris Gregg sounds familiar. Sierra Wood, no. Frank Gore, yes. Oh, and here are the hits. Keenan Allen, yes. That's an RPA. Two ninety nine out of two ninety nine. Nice four color patch on card autograph. AFC West Corey. Ah, you know you do run the risk of having expired redemptions here. Quinton Patton. Uh, who is a Niner in this year. We'll still send it to the Niners. Uh, that'll be the NFC North or NFC, e <laughs> NFC West. Donald. Three out of five. We got Detone Jones. Don't remember him. NFC North, Bartholomew. But all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. I remember Darren McFadden. I think was a Arkansas Razorback maybe. Out of Arkansas, went to the Raiders. Another one of those could have been great, but just was constantly injured. Always had like foot issues and... Never quite got healthy enough to put it all together. There's Gavin Escarbar again. RIP, 49 out of 99. Climbing accident. It's terrible. And the plate, Vincent Jackson. I remember Vincent Jackson. All right, fifth box, we got... Oh, this one took me about 20 minutes. So this is, like, this is break. going to take me an hour? I didn't think this was going to take me an hour. Maybe a little bit under, but this will pretty much bring us close, pretty close to the end of the night. Um, I think we'll still have time, and even if we go over, I'll still do it. Um, that flawless collegiate. we got three spots in that number block left. That's probably our best bet for tonight, for another break. Unless another quick, a different quick break uh, sells out, but... All right, Stephon Taylor, I remember him. Champ Bailey, I remember him. Great defensive back for the Broncos. Adrian Peterson, we know, to 399, excellent running back. Zach Stacy, I think everyone had him on their fantasy at one point or two that season. And we got uh, Demontre Moore, nothing on him. Alan Bonner, nothing on him. 153 out of 399. 21 out of 20. Chris Johnson, of course. And Zach Ertz, another nice RPA. 166 out of 299. Three-color patch and autograph. 
Eagles, NFC East, Steve Birch. Fly, Eagles, fly. Nice. And we've got Stephon Taylor autograph, NFC West. Cardinals, that'll be for Donald. 39 out of 99. We've got Jawan Jamison, 16 out of 25. Washington, NFC East, Steve Birch. And we got Case Keenum. He's still, he's still kicking around the league, right? This is Texans edition going to the NFC South. AFC South, that is, Texans. Donald. We got uh, Jermaine Grisham, 29 out of 99. AFC North, it's for Reno. And another one for Reno, A.J. Green, 166 out of 199. Everyone knows A.J. Green. All right, and Chris Johnson. Man, how good was, how good was Chris Johnson? All right, another inner case. Another five boxes. Did I see the story in LA of the coyote that grabbed the two-year-old girl and dragged her in the sidewalk in front of the yard? That sounds like some, uh, you watching that Fox News, Rex? Yeah, wild coyotes dragging children down the front yard. And those wild coyotes commanded by the, the, the uh, homeless militia that has now taken up arms and about to run just good suburban Americans out of their homes. Confirmed. Everyone should stay away from California. Traffic's really bad, get out of here. <laughs> Lighten up that traffic for us. Did that really happen? In all seriousness, that's scary. <laughs> I wonder where that was. People say L.A., but L.A. is a pretty big place. It's not like this happens in, like, where the shop is, which is why I could be considered L.A. That's terrifying. It's Woodland Hills, which is... <laughs> which is in the valley and in the hills. It's very far from Los Angeles. It's not even LA, actually. Yeah, there's a lot of, that's, that's where a lot of the wildfires are, but in the mountains of that area. And so it's a lot of like wildlife there. So it's, it's not even LA. <laughs> But yeah, don't move to LA. Your children will get snatched up by giant coyotes. Here's more Zacherts, another RPA. There are wild things there. There's like mountain lion. People go hiking in those hills over there in that very area. There's mountain lions out there too. It's, it's, it's like proper wilderness. But people say, people say LA. Oh, it totally makes it easier to report that. You'll get more clicks that way. You put Woodland Hills, you'll be like, no one knows where that is. That doesn't get clicks, Rex. There's Stephon Taylor, uh, NFC West. There's Matt Sims for the Jets, 13 out of 199. We're looking for Geno Smith. A AFC East, David. It's Kenny Britt, 22 out of 25. But yeah, I suppose if you think of LA, you don't think there's wildlife here, even though there's a lot of mountains, tons of wildlife. 43 out of 99, Dwayne Bowe.
Isn't there a Dwayne Bacon in the NBA? There's LaShawn McCoy, 21 out of 299. Dwayne Bacon goes to the AFC West for Corey. LaShawn McCoy goes to NFC East. There's Joe Staley. And Zach Ertz, rookie plate. But um, yeah. In real, in all seriousness, though, like, because uh, it's just been the Coyotes have become more and more bold. You know, getting into like city streets and stuff like that. There used to be, you know, like you'd you'd hear like every, especially during the summer where more pets are like outdoors. You'll you'll hear like, oh yeah, you know so-and-so's dog or so-and-so's cat was killed by a coyote, you know, like, but those stories would kind of grow more and more each year as coyotes become more emboldened by, you know, just get you more used to humans and then they just get more used to rolling, roaming around down there. There you go, Miggy. There he is, Santa Clarita. Coyote took your grandma's dog. Yeah, but those stories are more common now. Ten years ago, yeah, every once in a while that happens, and then happens more often. Yeah. What kind of did they? What kind of sign language did they use? Here's RG3, another RIP. Do dogs and coyotes speak the same language? Spawn, I have no idea where Spawn Ranch is. Yeah, that's no, that's a that's pretty. Yeah, that's in the valley. It's a lot further away. That's like Simi Valley. It's above Chatsworth. Yeah, that's the valley and then some. I mean, that's almost closer. Yeah, it's almost closer to Santa Clara. It's on the other side of those mountains. Sort of where, and I don't think anyone out there would really call themselves L.A. That's kind of where uh, Paul George, I think, grew up, right? Santa Clarita area? Or am I wrong on that? Somewhere around there. But then people would be like, oh, yeah, he's from, he's from uh, L.A. He's going to go to the Lakers, you know? Like, but it's like, no, it's not really. Palmdale, that's where it was. So I was like, well, I mean, I guess it. Close, it's like, it's such a hike out there. I don't know if anybody would consider themselves LA. Right, greater Los Angeles area more like. Marcus Wheaton, five out of 25. Two color patch and auto AFC North, Reno. And Matt Barkley, two out of five, Matt Barkley. Eagles edition, that's going to go to the NFC East. Steve Birch, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. I forget which. i got to ask some of the guys in the shop. There, there's like a former USC quarterback that does go to, that has visited the shop before. I don't think it's Matt Barkley. Who's named some, uh, name some, um, name some USC quarterbacks from that era.
Seven out of ten, Ryan Griffin. NFC South, Reno. Maybe it's Leinhardt. Maybe Matt Leinhardt visits here. Or has been for a couple times. That'll be for Reno. We got Tyron Matthew. Nice. 45 out of 99. NFC West. That'll be for Donald. That's right, Miggy. Yeah, except all the sports writers will be like, well, must have been a Lakers fan. I think that his family, I think Paul George's family were Clippers fans, actually. 92 out of 299, Monty Ball, AFC West. That'll be for Corey. All right, next one. All right, there is a redemption there. It's expired. That's the risk of these 2013 sets. Metal rookies, Quentin Patton. There's Gerald McCoy to 399. Jason Witten to 10. That'll be for the NFC West or NFC East. Steve Birch. It's Marquise Wilson to 399. Ezekiel Ansa to three ninety nine. Maurice Jones Drew to three ninety nine. Giovanni Bernard three color patch, an autograph eight out of ten. And it'll be Giovanni Bernard for the AFC North Reno. The redemption is Quentin Patton for the Niners. Again, it's expired, but we'll still send it to the NFC West, Donald. I suppose there is an outside chance that Panini will get you something, maybe some points back in return or something like that. Caleb Sturgis, 164 out of 199. AFC East, David. Charles Tillman, 154 out of 299. He ended up being uh, an FBI agent, right? I am an FBI agent. And Gavin Escobar, 17 out of 25. RIP, piece of his jersey. NFC East, Steve Birch. Rock climbing accent. Apparently, there are, uh, I mean, I, I, I guess I'm kind of stating the obvious, but maybe it's not so obvious. Rock climbing is dangerous. And even when you're scampering around like rocks in like Joshua Tree, which I've done a zillion times, uh, and I guess, and you're supposed to wear a helmet. I've never worn a helmet. And I don't think anyone anyone really wears a helmet, you know. So, it's Jared Allen, there is Dwayne Brown, D. Millin Milliner Milliner to three ninety nine. There is Matt Scott to three ninety nine. Justin Houston to three ninety nine. MJD and a Tavon Austin, who I think must be a Ram. Was he? A, was he a Ram? 
Yeah, it was drafted by the Rams. Same story, NFC West. Donald. Adrian Peterson. That would have been a nice one to get. NFC North, Bartholomew. We'll still send that to you, Bart. I'm going to start to write NFL on it. That doesn't make sense. We got Caleb Sturgis to 199 for the AFC East. David. And some lettering here. Peyton Manning. That's pretty cool. Four out of 25. Broncos edition. AFC West. Corey. That's a good question. Donnie's asking, Donald's saying, who were the Super Bowl teams back in 2013? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not that long ago, but it is. <laughs> it's actually, it actually doesn't seem like a long time ago, 2013, but it is a long time ago. I don't think Jaspies was even, or Jaspies was around in 2014, I think. Last box coming up. Uh, 2013. Season went from September 5th to December 29th, 2013. Playoff started in 2014. So your 2013 14 season, your AFC champions, the Denver Broncos, the your NFC champions, the Seattle Seahawks. Was that the first play of the game? Was a safety one? No, that's the one the Seahawks won. No, maybe that was. I did Broncos. Had the safety and just went downhill from there, right? And the Super Bowl was in MetLife Stadium. A good, that's a good question, too. Yeah, it says the enclosed game-worn material, which is pretty cool. Yeah, to the, the good one, Donnie. Yeah, to this day, Russell Wilson's still defeating the Broncos. Uh, this was... Star Spangled Banner, Renee Fleming did it. Your V-shaped formation of three U.S. Army Blackhawks, three Apache attack helicopters, and three Chinook heavy lifters did a military flyover. It's pretty cool. You don't see the helicopters doing the flyover. Your halftime show was Bruno Mars with uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers popping in there, which was actually not bad, I feel like. I'm thinking back on it. And, oh, and Donnie's a Denver fan, too. Yes, this was the yeah, this was indeed the first play of the game. After the kickoff, it was the safety. And then it just kind of went backwards from there. There's Von Miller speaking to Denver. That'll be to 399. Roddy White to 399. Margus Hunt to 399. A Sanders to 399 and Alan Bonner to 399. All right, and behind uh, Megatron, Calvin Johnson, is Mike Glennon, an autograph. Buccaneers, that's going to be NFC South Reno. Man, what happened there? I, I, I actually, 69 49. As a Raiders fan, I mean, obviously, I'm glad to see the Broncos fail. There's Justin Hunter autograph, five out of twenty-five AFC South. But as a football fan, man, I didn't. I just think, didn't think it would be that bad. Hackett's got to be gone, right, at the end of the season. I mean, I know some some people like on like Reddit or whatever are like, "You got to get rid of Russell Wilson," but you gave up so many assets that there's no way that guy's going. 
It's Kobe Hamilton uh, to 199, AFC North. That's going to be Reno. Donnie, you got the Justin Hunter at AFC South. Malcolm Floyd, Chargers Relic to 299. That's going to be um, AFC West, Corey. And we got Jonathan Franklin, NFC North. That'll be for Bartholomew. And there is London Fletcher. All right, final five boxes coming up. Pretty sure we have him for seven years, but I'm sure he'll figure it. I think so too. That I think so too. AFC West always is a lot more fun when both the Raiders and the Broncos are playing well. But yeah, I don't think I don't think Hackett is it. Maybe Javante Williams going down early in the season. I think in an early Raiders Broncos game. I think him going down was a little bit a little bit rough. Defense is still great though. But there was a crazy stat. Uh, Miggy's a Broncos guy too. There was a crazy stat where it said if the Broncos had scored more than like 16 points a game or something like that. Which is really not a lot. That they would be, uh, here's Bryce Butler for the Raiders. I mean, they'd, they'd have like a bunch more wins. Oh, 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 I see, I see. I th you said Broncos were such a bust this year, but you meant Broncos were such a bust this year. I see. Little typo, little typo. You're a Saints guy. Here's Andrew Luck to 399. There's Roddy White to 399. Sheldon Richardson, big Sheldon Richardson to 399. Jeff Toole to 399. And Latavius Murray, Raiders edition to 399. There's his rookie card. Still hanging around in the league. Still contributing. There's Ryan Nasib. 93 out of 99. <laughs> yeah, Miggy, sorry, I'm I'm like Ron Burgundy. I just I just read whatever whatever's in the chat. And I don't try to make assumptions. Ooh, nice on what people were intending. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins. RPA. Two color patch on card autograph. AFC South. Donnie. There you go, Donnie. There's Nick Moody. 101 out of 199. He gets a little moody sometimes. Any relation to... Uh, maybe not. Moses Moody on the Warriors? How many Moody's are there in the league? There's Michael Rivera. 24 out of 199. Pretty sure... Speaking of... This is a tragic year... Gavin Escobar no longer with us. RG3 in this set no longer with us. We saw him a little bit earlier. Demarius Thomas, we saw his card. And I think Michael Rivera's sister, who was in Glee? Maybe a season or two? Maybe she was a TV star? I think her and her... I think she passed away. She drowned, I want to say. I think no one really knows, but they were on a boat in a lake out here in... California. The speculation is that she was that she was swimming out there, or her and her baby daughter, I think, were swimming out there. They had some trouble getting back on the boat. And I think it was just them. And I think she got her kid on the boat, a toddler or something like that, and then I think she was unable to get on the boat.
Yeah, back in the summer of 2020. Naya Rivera. Yeah, actress, singer, model, known for her work on Glee. All right, there's Lance Briggs to 399. There is Eric Fisher, five out of 10. To 399, Kobe Hamilton. Jerron Brown to 399. David Amerson to 399. Ryan Griffin's gonna show us some hits here. Stedman Bailey. 28 out of 99. And wow, more sadness here. I'm pretty sure Stedman Bailey retired after, uh, he's still with us, but he retired after life-threatening injuries he suffered after being shot in the head. He was a third-round pick. I think, I think they were kind of expecting him to, to make some contributions, maybe? No, maybe not. Still sad. We got Monty Ball. AFC West, Corey. Oh, Donnie was saying, the, uh, Russell Wilson, speaking of the Broncos, Russell Wilson has given the Broncos one fun thing. That was, uh, let's ride. Yeah, I do kind of like that. There's Tavares King, 14 out of 25. What do you think his other, if he went to the Raiders, for example, what do you think his thing would be? Let's pillage? That's what Teddy's saying? No, I think he'd probably just go Raider Nation. He'd probably just go Raider Nation and then call it. Because like Seahawks, he didn't say let's fly, did he? What, what, was, what did he say in Seattle? 184 out of 299. There's Steve Smith. So this is Carolina edition right here, NFC South. Steve Smith, also NFC South. Both of those going to Reno. There's DeAndre Hopkins, 42 out of 99. Five out of 10, Andre Ellington. NFC West, and the plate is Marcus Wheaton. I see, Donnie's saying in all caps, he didn't need a catchphrase in Seattle to cover up his playing. <laughs> I think he might have just went go Hawks or something like that. Rex, you've asked this question before, and we've always answered it. He's just not accepting the answer, huh? Thirty-two teams in the NFL. Fifty-three man rosters. And the NFL is one of, maybe next to basketball, probably one of the most closely, most closely covered sports where every action is, uh, you know, is, is covered by so many news outlets. NBA roster is by, by comparisons much smaller, 15 men a roster or something like that. Troy Palomalo to 399. So you, you add all that together, more opportunities for, for young rich kids <laughs> who are probably just getting to, to a lot of money for the first time. Getting in a lot of trouble. Accountability is a lot harder too with that many that many people. A lot of coaches tracking keep trying to keep tab tabs on a lot of a lot of people, plus what? 
25 men plus practice squads. How big are those practice squads that are on the team right there? Who knows? More people, more opportunity to, to have tragic stories surrounding guys like Michael Rivera. Stuff like that. It's Marcus Wheaton. AFC North. It's going to be for Reno. There's Matt Barkley at 99. 36 out of 99. I mean, imagine... Imagine if the... Uh, I don't know. Imagine if, like, any of the baseball scandals... We're in the NFL. It's 156 out of 199, Desmond Trufant. And there's Mike Lennon, 87 out of 99, piece of his jersey. NFC South. Another box here, yeah. If you look at it, soccer at anywhere other than the U.S., it might probably just be as bad too. Soccer players getting in trouble all the time. All right, final two boxes. Dion Jordan, NFL players just on, under uh, under a different kind of microscope. There's Jared Allen. It's Frank Gore to three ninety nine. Derek Rogers to three ninety nine. Nick Casa to three ninety nine. And there's Tim Jennings to three ninety nine. I'll bet if you looked at every baseball team, you could you could find tragic stories everywhere too. I, don't, I just don't think it gets reported as as often. Another Zachert, sixty nine out of ninety nine. NFC East, Steve Birch. We got Stephon Taylor, RPA, to 299. That's for the Cardinals, NFC West, Donald. Ooh, a plate auto coming up. Here's Sam Montgomery, 6 out of 10, rookie auto for the Texans. AFC South, that'll be for Donald. And whoa, Teddy, look at this. One of one, Joe Montana plate and autograph, Ooh. Niners edition. Oh, look shit. at his, his autograph is so cool. Joe Cool's autograph. What product look, is that? This is a 2013 Panini Black. Oh, That's NFC West Donald with the Niners, Donnie. In the uh, in one of the bathrooms here at Jaspie's, we got a we got a poster of Joe Montana that Teddy donated. It was a Sega Se Sega Game Gear Sega Game Gear Joe Montana. <laughs> so and he's just like looking at you with his steely blue eyes. While you pee. While you pee, yeah. Are you almost done? You want to start chopping your boxes now? Uh, that would be nice, Teddy. Thank you. I am. Eighty out of ninety-nine. Eric Decker. Big Eric Decker. According to his, according to his GF, that goes to that's Broncos edition AFC West. Corey, family show, easy guys and gals. Two ninety nine. Matt Ryan, piece of his jersey, NFC South. Reno. 
Last box coming up. Sorry, I, I completely mistimed this break. I didn't think it was going to take this long. But it gets us to the end of the night. It looks like that Flaws Collegiate is still sitting there. That'll probably be one of our first breaks of the day tomorrow then, gang. All right, and I, I will do a recap as well. I'll do a quick recap of the, uh, of the hits. A lot of hits in here. Thanks, everyone. I know it's a Sunday night, a school night for a lot of people. They got work tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow, 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Eastern, Sunday through Thursday. And then Jason Jaspi is on Fridays and Saturdays, seven nights a week. Tom Brady to 399. Got Troy Palomalu to 399. We got Josh Boyce to 399. Number one overall pick, Eric Fisher to 399. And there's Gino Atkins. Is Eric Fisher still no. in the league? No, don't ta don't tackles last forever? Well, he was a bust. Was he a bust? Yeah. I mean, he was with the Chiefs for seven seasons. Not that busty. <laughs> he signed a one-year deal with the Colts in 2021, and there's nothing in his Wikipedia page after that. Yeah, I mean, that's what, according to Wikipedia. He tore an Achilles in the AFC Championship game in 2020, in the 2020 season. That's where the Chiefs would lose to the Buccaneers 31-9, and then he was released in March of 2021. In May, he signed a one-year deal with the Colts, and then that's that. But not 2022, I guess not. I mean, yeah, I guess he's it's kind of busty. I guess if you draft a number one overall, if Gilo was here, he he's a Chiefs guy. He would, Gabe would tell us. 41 out of 299, EJ Manuel RPA. EJ Manuel might still be kicking around in the league somewhere, right? The redemption is Marcus Lattimore, who would be Saints in 2023? No. He would be... This is... Uh, Marcus Lattimore, who would be a Niner. He's a coach now. Yeah, man, if, you, if you're a competent quarterback, I mean, you can have like a backup job, starting job slash backup job for forever. All right, so this will be for the NFC West, Donald. We got Nick Casa. 91 out of 199. That'll be for the Raiders AFC West. Sam Bradford, piece of his jersey to 299. Remember him? Rams, NFC West. Another relic, there's Quentin Patton, piece of his jersey to 299 for the NFC West. And then NFC West, you'll also get the Frank Gore to 49. What a strong season he had. And then Mike Gillisley, rookie plate for the AFC East. And there you go, boys and girls. That was tw a full case, three inner cases of 2013 Panini Black. Here's the first case-ish, or first inner case. I'm going to do a recap. Stephon Taylor, we got some Zach Ertz's. NFC East had a nice little break with all those Zach Ertz's. The three out of five, Rookie Auto, Dayton Jones. Keenan Allen RPA was pretty cool. That's Robert Woods, Le'Veon Bell, and out of 10, Tom Brady. We have Manti Teo. And... Gavin Escobar, RIP, and Terrence Williams. This was the second inner case, I think ish, mostly. There might be some crossover between the first and the second. But pretty much the same. Mike Lennon. This is a game-worn jersey. I think, yeah, Joe P was pointing out that might be part of the, the N, N in Manning. 
The double N in Manning? Game used, so that's pretty cool. There's an out of 10 Giovanni Bernard. He carved out a pretty nice season. There's Matt Barkley. Nice career, that is. Another Zach Ertz. And in the most recent inner case that you saw, EJ Manuel. We had the nice uh, Joe Montana one of one. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, makes up for the redemptions that, that Donnie got. So that worked out. Another Zach Ertz. Eagles, NFC East having a nice break. So fun blast from the past. Kind of cool looking back on the old days. I think even Monty Ball carved out a decent career, I want to say, as far as running backs go. DeAndre Hopkins RPA was cool. So not too shabby at all when you kind of look at it from that recap point of view. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I will see you next time for the next NFL break. Bye-bye.